Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. It is, let me move my mouse down here, 7 o'clock a.m. on Wednesday, the 1st of August. Now, yesterday, when I went to the post office, and I'm going to continue in just a moment, I got a little notice in there saying that if I didn't pay for my post office box by the end of the month, you know, it would be locked off. Now, did they mean August or did they mean July? Because I got it on July 31st. Hmm. Hopefully they mean August. <laughs> anyway, though, 7 o'clock a.m. and all that on a, another bright and wonderful day. Uh, I don't know if it's bright or wonderful where you are. It is only semi-bright and only uh, the possibility of being wonderful. It's the sun is coming out. It might be cool. It might be warm. I haven't checked the weather. I haven't been outside. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be nice without being hot. Yesterday was... I stayed awake. And in fact, I'm pretty glad about that. I was able to because I actually fell asleep in morning time and went, no, 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 no. Now, when you take caffeine, because I'm addicted to caffeine, as most people like around the world are, and that's not bad. There's nothing wrong with being addicted to caffeine as long as you get your fix. I'll come back to that. Can I come back to that? What was I talking about? Yes, I took a 200 milligram caffeine tablet yesterday because I had put, after I had purchased on my own a bottle of caffeine tablets and they worked great, when I couldn't afford another one, I put a bottle of caffeine tablets on my wish list and some very, very kind and wonderful subscriber sent me the box of, not box, it's this. I hit my mic, boom mic, sorry. It's caffeine tablets. And they work. <laughs> now caffeine, of course, is the most widely used legal stimulant on the face of the planet. And there's nothing actually wrong with being physically addicted to caffeine. As long as you're getting your fix, you're fine. They've discovered that you work better mentally when you're addicted and you're getting your fix. You work better physically when you're addicted and getting your fix. What are the downsides? Well, you have to stay hydrated. Caffeine is a diuretic. Past that, there don't appear to be any real downsides. Sure, some people are very, very sensitive. And those people are unfortunately, oh, I forgot to open up 24 hours worth of comments on my tab and I forgot to close everything off so I didn't look like a spotlight was shining in my face. My sincere apologies. That's a little darker. <laughs> but one of the other things that caffeine does, why it makes it so hard to get to sleep if you drink caffeine in the afternoon, is it does two things. We have receptors in our bodies that determine and detect the various tiredness hormones. In fact, we have one specific hormone that I've forgotten the name of, but it builds up over time as you're awake. It doesn't build up when you're asleep. Only when you're awake does your body produce it. And when it hits a certain level in your bloodstream, bang, that that's it. You have to go to sleep. One of the things that caffeine does is it blocks that receptor. So your body's got all the various receptors through your various blood vessels and it's checking for stuff. Normally they've got the little tiredness hormone receptor shaped holes that would go spuck and as they fill and then finally fill up, you're tired, you gotta go to bed. Caffeine goes thunk and fills those up, but it doesn't make you tired. And so when the tiredness, tiredness hormone comes on, it just goes boing, bounces off the caffeine molecule and your body doesn't know it's tired. You're getting tired, but your body doesn't feel it. The other thing that it can do, which if you're really tired in the morning, one of the best things you can do is quickly slam a caffeine drink and then go take a 45 minute nap. The caffeine blocks the reception of tiredness hormones blocks the production of the tiredness hormone. You're getting a quick sleep and then you're up before you hit your deeper cycle so you don't get groggy and logy. 
If you just set your alarm, take a 45 minute nap after slamming a caffeine drink, you're great. But it does block the production of that hormone as well. That's why you get that burst of energy when you take caffeine. You're not getting energy. You're just, your body is forgetting that it's tired. Thumbs up. Better living through chemicals. Well, I mean, there is better living through chemicals. In fact, that's one of the things. Yesterday I talked about the, the horrific nightmare of owing money to the government. Today I'm talking about as well one of the horrific bad effects of that. I'm supposed to be taking about six meds right now. Now, a lot of them are just maintenance meds. My kidneys don't work all that well now because I damaged them while my wife was dying. I ended up dehydrating far too much, far too long, far too often damage my kidneys. To make them work better properly, I have to take very, very low doses of this one medication that is a blood pressure med. But in small doses, it does nothing to your blood pressure and it just makes your kidneys work better. I can't afford that. So I haven't been taking it for a while. I've got a whole bunch of things like that. I got Ropinerol. When that runs out, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't been able to afford to buy any for a time. I've got all these meds that I'm supposed to be taking. My diuretic, my potassium, all these little things just for body maintenance. Not for pain. That's my methadone. That one, I keep ordering. But all these other things, I can't afford. So I've got to tell all them when I called up the social worker today at the VA. It's like, I'm not even ordering the meds that I'm supposed to to make my body work properly because I don't have any money. I'm going to be homeless if this happens. Can we do something about this, please? I mean, I have to accept the responsibility. After my wife died, I was broken and I turned my back on a lot of things. But I wasn't even sure I was going to survive at that time and I was being taken advantage of, still am, but now I know and realize and I'm working to get out from underneath it. Whereas back then, I just got screwed. So hopefully, 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 they're gonna be able to help me out. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Thumbs up a link to the United States government and people taking financial advantage of broken and damaged people. Yay. I got the fan on in the window still and that's it's under high pressure it's a sliding open window this way so I have to put the box fan in the window and then go wonk with the window to close against it and then I've got a bunch of stuff up in the upper part of the window that's kind of under pressure there's a bin lid coming in sideways not sideways through the top and it's angled so it's on this side of one part and it goes up this side up against and underneath the curtain rod so it's under pressure against the fan so the fan could either go foom out that way or kabash inward on me so i've got to keep the window under high pressure this way and everything delicately balanced along with some stuff that i've got all wedged around the tops of the bin lid to keep more bugs from getting in as many as possible and then all the various holes around these things blocked with like plastic bags to keep the ventilation from coming back in this way as much as possible because with the fan going it's negative pressure in this room in fact it's even hard to shut that door because the wind and the air is being sucked through the house and then out through there. So when I go to shut the door, you can hear it go around the door and the fan goes and powers up as the air pressure changes. And it's literally, you have to push the door to shut it because the air going and being sucked into this room here is very, very strong. And that's awesome, it keeps it cooler because it's pretty cool downstairs. It's not so cool up here because second floor radiant heating and even though we turn it off we haven't been able to figure out the f furnace controls entirely and so it sometimes pops on 73 degrees middle of the night 
So it gets really warm up here, which during the wintertime is good. During the summertime, not so. And of course, this is actually cut down some. And as grim as it may look, it's, it's not grim to me. I've said this before, and it's true. I have to cling to existential nihilism. Now, I wasn't able to put all of it on there because it's not big enough. It's been distilled to. There is no point or purpose to any, er, no, there is no point or purpose to any human activity beyond mere animal survival. We are all just waiting to die. I cling to that. That is the rock, the foundation upon which I have built my life now. And it sounds grim, but I find it so freeing. It gives me hope. This is what gives me hope. That gives me the chance to smile, to go forward into the future and not let the past weigh me down and destroy me. Until I was able to fully understand and reach this understanding of what it is, because it took a while, I only rediscovered, because I've discovered the concept and then read about it through my life, but I never actually realized that it can save your life until within the past four years here, where that's freeing and I am hopeful for the future because of this. There's no point or purpose to any human activity beyond mere animal survival, and we're all just basically waiting to die. That's what got me through clearing out my storage unit. Once I started breaking down and crying when I came across that one piece of needle point from my wife, what got me through it was just going, nothing matters. None of this matters. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. And that got me through it and emptied out the storage unit of what I needed. So it works. And it's not depressing. I mean, it is depressing. It's not depressing either. It's, it is depressing. It is grim. It is forbidding. But it doesn't have to be. It's freeing as well. It opens up the future for me. I'm not a prisoner of the past. I can be whatever and whoever I want to be within my physical limitations, of course. But this is, we are free to be whoever we want to be. We are free to put whatever purpose we want into life because we have to put into life whatever we want out of it because otherwise there, there is nothing. And when you can understand fully and go, it's up to me, that's freeing. Make your own purpose, your own point, your own reasons. Fill your life with your own purpose, not somebody else's purpose, not society's purpose, not culture's purpose, yours. Your purpose, your meaning. Because there is no point or purpose to any of this. In 20 years, I'll be gone likely 20, maybe 25, hopefully 30. I mean, the point being, it's within the next generation, I will have died. And within five years, I'll be forgotten completely. The best, the best that I could hope for would be a footnote in a history book. And even a hundred years past that, who's going to be reading the books? A thousand years past that, what society are we going to have on the planet? In 10,000 years, will there be a human civilization, a human species? In 100,000 years, what will life at, like be at all on the planet? In a billion years, will there be life? In 5 billion, the, earth, the sun will swallow the earth. In a trillion years, our solar system, it won't look the same. In 10 trillion years, if there is any life at all in the, in the universe, in that far in the, off in the future, things will, ex will have expanded so far in space that everything will be dark. There will be no universe for them to see. And does that matter? It's impossible to adjust to people who know it's a bad thing to need fruit. My daughter has no knowledge of branches. Please do not burn ginger. In a 
trillion, trillion, trillion to the power of a trillion years. The universe will still be here. What point any of this? Fill your life with your own purpose. It's a good thing. I am going to open up. <laughs> Excuse me. 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab because I haven't yet. My sincere apologies. I am very behind. But I'm going to go through and thank... Oh, my sinus is hurt. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments. In fact, I'm just trying to open up the comments right now. But I am just thanking you for having left me a comment. A good comment, a bad comment, an indifferent comment. Just thank you for having left me a comment. That's important. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. And then let's see. Ah, yes, I'm counting in American Sign Language. So if I get lost, it's a, that's why it's a range of 20 to 25. So Cody Henderson, thank you very, very much. And Dylan Rabbitskin, how about that? And then we have Knock Tree, thank you very, very much. And Malix Killer 01, greatly appreciated. Tad Williams, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, thumbs up, greatly appreciated. Ask Ogario, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. And Chris Andy, with a whole bunch of Ys, thank you. Zillin S, thank you very, very much. And Janelle O, greatly appreciated. Iron Wallace, heck of a name, thank you very, very much. Chris Jericho, thank you. Lee Molson, thank you very, very much. And Austin Niche, greatly appreciated. Red X, thank you very, very much, even though you were a very, very unpleasant person in the comments. Potato Head, greatly appreciated. JC's Know It All? Well, maybe, maybe not. Pigeon Man 49, greatly appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you. And Oliver Boynton, thumbs up. Black Pink Love, son of a gun, thank you. Well, it sure isn't Dale. Well, that may not be. I wonder who it actually is. Fender Ben, thank you very, very much. And The Bishop, greatly appreciated. Kermit Low Key Thick, son of a gun. And the last but not least, one creepy penguin. Thumbs up and thank you. Well, that was 25 people. It is greatly appreciated, each and every one of you, for getting me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. There were good comments, there were bad comments, there were indifferent comments. The fact is, you left me a comment. Thank you very, very much. It's still dark, scary, and it will be dark and scary inside this head for a very, very long time. I've turned the corner, I'm walking out of the dark forest, but it's taken me decades to get where I am. I had social anxieties before I met my wife and they just exploded after her death. So it's gonna take a time. It may take the rest of my life, but I'm walking in the right direction. And that's a good thing. If you could check out my game channel, that would be very, very cool. Greatly appreciated. I, I have a game channel. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say on that one right now. Suddenly my mind is wiped clean and I apologize for that. But it's, it's games, and if you could check that out, that'd be awesome. Uh, you don't have to. You don't feel obligated. I don't feel entitled, but if we could get it monetized, it'd be awesome. I also have a whole bunch of links down below if you could check those out. Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, thank you very, very much, because they are beautiful and awesome. You could be, too, if you wanted. But do not feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. Now, I would understand if you don't want to. I'm an old guy. I'm niche. I know that. <laughs> I don't do things that are generally what's popular on YouTube. So... I'd understand if you don't want to subscribe, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained. I do Let's Plays, I do reactions, I do walkies, I do all sorts of stuff. Thumbs up for that. Oh, my stomach is really upset right all of a sudden. It just hurts. Hopefully it's not stomach cancer. Hopefully. Well, I'm going to hopefully have a reaction video today. Hopefully a game video. Hopefully a game video for the game channel. Very awesome. Very cool. Greatly appreciated. If you watch those, you don't have to. If you do, I hope you enjoy. That's why I do them. Definitely a thumbs up. Oh, good golly. It's going to be a warm day, I think. And I'm going to do my best not to fall asleep. I want to stream again. So here's hoping I can get that done. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is a very good thing, my friend. So I'm 
Oh, shucks. Try to get the timing right. I'm going to try and make this so it's like 20 minutes exactly. I doubt I can do it properly, but you take care and I will see you.